All right, guys, so this was the only way that I could successfully unlock my Galaxy Fold. You're going to go to this site, unlockboot.com, and hit unlock. Now, I'm not affiliated with the site at all. This is just the only one that i actually been able to get to work and um, not scam you and things like that. Basically, you go to Samsung once you get on the site, in this case, Samsung, um, and we're going to unlock the Fold. You're going to come down here to the drop down. There's a lot to choose from. You're going to make sure it says Galaxy Fold Unlock Any Carrier and all of that. It is $55. This is not free, but it's, you know, just a quick way of doing things if you want. Then you're going to go down there and, and um, click on IMEI. You're going to type in your IMEI, obviously. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit Unlock. This is where they're going to remotely unlock your device. Now, you're going to get an email. I think I got that email almost instantly. It was like less than five minutes. And they don't give you the unlock code first. They got to remotely unlock it. Then you get the code. So they tell you to go to this site. Um, you download this you uh, unlock boot driver so they can the program can work, showing you that everything is hooked up here. Once you download the driver, this is where you click on it. And where you, where I'm showing you right now is where you are. This is where it takes you to, and they're going to service the device that you're doing the unlocking process actually right now. So basically, your work, your job is basically done. You're just waiting for them to actually get on. Um, it probably took about 10 or 15 minutes for someone to come, come on and start doing this where it says servicing your device. So you just be patiently and wait, and they get on. Now, once you get on... Um, under the email, it also gives you this chat site so that they can talk you through. Basically, they're just saying don't let the phone go to sleep and things like that. It's like unlockboot.com forward slash chat or something like that. So in the email, it tells you, it gives you each of those addresses. So ask for your email. Let me take that out so everybody doesn't see that. But after that, it says someone on here says, hey, leave it. Don't touch it. Even if you see any pop ups. Please, these are the uh, the tech geeks, I guess you want to call them, the um, the guys who are actually unlocking it. Now I've done this several times already, and it's usually the same the same person. In my cases, anyway, and basically you're just gonna wait. This right here is live, it's real time, so I didn't edit anything out, and it's done like literally like that fast. It says done, unlock. Um, Done, unlock, insert a SIM from a different carrier. It's going to ask you to put in the eight zeros. And everything is permanently unlocked. You can update and factory reset and all that stuff, and it'll still be locked forever. So that was perfect. So you can go ahead and type on there if you want. You know, I say great thanks. And I'm showing you here. It says servicing your device. This is... This this is was up here before the chat came, so I just showed you what happens after it's done. Um, I think I waited maybe five to eight more minutes afterwards, and you just wait, you just wait, you just wait, and eventually it'll go from three to four, saying servicing is done. So let me go ahead and put a T-Mobile SIM in. And this SIM is an old SIM I had that is not active, but it is a official T-Mobile SIM when I had them. So just to show you that this thing does work, let's see if the um, carrier and everything comes up. So once you put a different SIM in, just like they said, it should have, here we go, enter unlock, network unlock code, which is going to be the eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And you hit unlock. And network unlock successful. So that was extremely fast. So you're going to take off the Wi Fi. And as you can see, sign into uh, network. T Mobile pops up. Um, now, a friend of mine, two, a few days ago, I think it was two days prior to this, he wanted to do his as well this is actually the actually the second one i did um and as you can see t-mobile pops up in the corner you know when your carrier comes up now he has a ryzen this is a active ryzen sim this is a totally different device 
just to show you. And now I've already done pay the 55 again, two separate times and did the exact same thing, you know, remotely sync the phone up to the computer. They all, they get on and they tell you the same stuff. Don't let it go to sleep and things like that. So anyway, so you don't have to watch it again. Put the SIM in, same thing comes up. Type in the eight zeros. Both of these were our AT&T um, devices, obviously. Otherwise, you wouldn't. It wouldn't ask you to type in a code. Network is, is successful. Everything worked exactly like it did the first, the um, first time. Or well, this is the second time actually. And just so you can see the Verizon 4G LTE. This one is active and show you where it says Verizon Wireless at the top, top left. Everything is good to go. Like I said, these were AT&T devices. If you buy the unlock one from like Best Buy, it's not gonna ask you to enter a network, you know, unlock code. So as you can see, they asked me for that on both of these devices. These are legit AT&T devices. And now I can use these. Um, we can use these when that, with whatever carry we want. And that's basically it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know. Um, I was apprehensive at first, but hey, I, I bit the bait and the first one worked. So did the second one and uh, everything's been great. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.